the present gate problem is the fourth problem in this set of uh, problems on transient analysis uh, it is of gate uh, 2010 uh, we'll see this problem sub gate 2010 sub 2 marks uh, we'll read out the problem here in the circuit shown the switch S is open for a long time and is closed at t equals to 0 the current IT for t greater than 0 plus is given by these are the four options uh, given here a b c d and we have to find out which is the right option uh, for the current through the inductor we can uh, see this circuit the current of 1.5 amperes current source is here in the circuit 10 ohm resistor and this branch this switch is open so there is no current flow in this and there is a 10 ohm branch with a series inductor of 15 milli ohms milli henrys so this is the circuit arrangement and uh, we have to find the current uh, uh, we have to find so it's open as long as and it's the current IT we have to find the current IT in this circuit in this part of the branch we have to find the current IT okay now uh, we'll see the solution to this problem uh, uh, it's given that switch is open for a long time uh, since the switch is open for a long time uh, steady state would have been reached and the uh, uh, inductor uh, would be a short circuit that means this inductor would be a short circuit if the steady state is reached so this is the corresponding circuit in the steady state for this 1.5 amperes current 10 ohms and this branch is open and then 10 ohms so this uh, 1.5 amperes current will get divided into this 2 ohm register and the other this branch of 10 ohms here with the inductor of uh, 15 milli henrys which is being shorted here so the current here IL0 minus that means uh, before the switch is uh, closed the current is 1.5 amperes divided by 2 it will be divided into two branch that means 0.75 amperes here and 7.75 flow into this now at T is 0 plus as, as soon as the switch is closed current through the inductor we can find out whenever the switch is just closed the current through the inductor IL0 plus would be IL0 minus 0.75 amperes that means the current will not instantly change in the inductor here this current will remain the same it will not change instantly and uh, what we notice here the current here would be 0.75 amperes and the remaining 0.75 amperes now will get divided into these two paths because both have the resistance of 10 ohms so that uh, current would get divided into these two paths so 0.375 amperes 0.375 amperes would be in this swap this would be the current flowing into this path now we can uh, uh, and, uh, five remaining points I will get divided into two uh, two transition path through the inductor uh, current through the inductor at any instant is we can find out the current through the inductor at any instant here the current we can find the current through inductor would be ILT that is I infinity minus I infinity minus I zero plus e to the power minus T R equivalent into T divided by L now this is the current as a function of time what is I infinity that means in the steady state what would be the current uh, through the inductor the current through the inductor when the steady state would have reached this current this current and this they will get divided equally between the three branches uh, so the current would be 0.5 amperes in the steady state now we can uh, see the uh, equivalent resistance that REQ which is seen by the inductance so we have made this equivalent circuit here 10 ohms 10 ohms in shunt, 10 ohms in shunt. so this will be the equivalent resistance uh, looked by the inductor 
okay so this resistance you can find here this 10 ohms 10 and 10 in parallel will make 5 ohms so it will be 15 ohms so resistor value equivalent resistance is 15 ohms time is t and l l is the inductance the inductance is uh, 15 milli henrys that we have seen 15 mini henry milli henrys so they here uh, are equivalent by l we have found here are equivalent that is 15 divided by l 15 mini henrys so 1000 okay so it would be the i infinity 0.5 minus 0.5 minus 0.375 this is the current it you can notice here the current flowing uh, in the IT branch is given by this 0.5 uh, IT 0.5 minus 0.5 minus 0.375 0.375 is the current flowing in that 1 into e to the power minus 1000 T so this would be 0.5 minus 0.125 Point one two five uh, and uh, e to the power minus thousand t that we have seen how it comes two thousand. So the uh, here uh, the option A uh, here is the right choice here uh, for this uh, current. Notice here the difference here the current we are uh, initially we had given an equation for this and we are finding the current into the IT branch so that you could uh, notice here the difference and since we have to find the current through this branch IT not the inductor part okay so that is all uh, thank you